Um, hey everyone, um, I just want to go over a method for um, creating hands. Um, now this particular method um, uh, is really quite uh, attractive in that if you look at the um, edge flow, the edges aren't propagating up through the arm. Okay, They're actually not actually terminating, um, but what they're doing is they're looping back around. So for example, this finger if I follow the faces around, it um, loops back around, okay? And same as this finger here, so they loop back around like this, all right? So that means that you can have quite a dense mesh um, and detail in the fingers, and yet um, it's just looping back around. It's not propagating out through the arms and through the uh, rest of the character. So how did I go about creating this? Um, I'm not going to go into as much detail as I've created here, um, but I'll just give you a quick overview of how to achieve this. So let's start on the other side, okay, and basically I've extruded the arm out, alright, um, yeah, so what did I do? Well, one, we'll do one quick extrude here, we'll grab all of these faces, And I'll do a, an extrude. I want to do this fairly quickly too, by the way. Like that. <clears throat> and then what I do, this is quite important, you grab these outer edges. One, two, three, four, like that. And you scale them in. Or pull them in, like this. Nice and tight, really tight, because this is actually going to be the inside of a finger. Where two fingers join. Okay. <clears throat> so as you can see, just doing this, this allows me to create that, that loop that goes around. <coughs> okay, now I'm just going to move this vertice down. So I'll just back a line and this one up. So we get that type of shape. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're going for. And simply what we want to do now is create a couple of cuts. So I'll go multi-cut. Hold control. That'll be the first fingers. <coughs> and I'll go one more. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so now I'm just going to pull these ones out so you can see what we've got here. Like that. So this will be the first finger right here. These two faces, that and this will be a finger. This will be the second finger. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and I'm going to just pull these ones out too. So this will be another finger. And another finger. Alright. So I've got one finger, two finger, three finger and four finger. Okay. Now, uh, this will be the thumb here. <coughs> Alright. So now, actually, I'll pull these ones back just a little bit. Get the idea? Now, the next step is to actually uh, put a loop really close in here. And another one. <coughs> okay. Because this will be the web in between each of those fingers. Okay, we're in a good position now to... <clears throat> extrude these out. So um, let's go for it. We'll grab the faces, one, two, and I'll do all of them all at once. We'll just do a extrude just straight out. <clears throat> these ones here look like they've just going to bring these two back over, but not overlapping. So as you can see, you've got four fingers. <coughs> now, that's a really good start to generating fingers. Um, okay, really nice. Now, the next step is, of course, to pull the thumb out. Okay. So I'll be doing something like that. And, all right. Rotate it a bit, bring it in, so that would be the start of the thumb. 
Okay, I like to also put another loop over the top of these, like this, <coughs> and like that. This way, I can get the roundness, because this is very square, so you really want to go in and round these out, so you need to do it really early. Um, so next up, you'd start to round these birds. Just round it. <coughs> okay, and then once you've done that, um, and then it's very much about shaping and extending, extruding, and creating the fingers. And the beauty of this is, as I mentioned earlier, um, you end up getting that really nice uh, looping going around. Now, after you've done that, um, I won't extrude these, right? I'll just leave those as they are. Actually, I'll do one extrude that <coughs> I think is quite important. Just grab all these ends. I'll just show you. Um, I'll do, make sure I haven't got anything else. I'll do one more extrude. And I'm just going to come out a little bit. And I will scale them in like that. So this would be the end of the fingers. Um, I get it. They're really short and stubby. But just for the purpose of this exercise, so as you can see how it works, it's quite important. Okay, so next up, um, I'm just going to pull these out a little bit. So you can see where I'm going to go with this. <coughs> so what we need to do next is um, create a little bit more um, a, a, a topology, a few more faces in this area here. And to do that, what I do is I select a couple of edges from here. I tend to go one short, so all these center ones. I don't do the very end one here. And then I use a bevel. So a bevel like that. <coughs> okay. And I'm going to do a multi, whoops, a multi cut. Straight, sorry. Across here. Actually, sorry. I'm just backing out of that. I need to do a cut there. <coughs> That's better. So I'm going to do that bevel again. Grab here. Come in close. So I always stop one short and one short. Um, okay, and I go bevel. There we go. And I'm just going to clean things up a little bit here. So you can see things a little bit better. Give myself a bit of space. Okay. Okay, so next up, now I've got all these um, N-gons. They're like one, two, three, four, five-sided um, polygons, which we don't want. We want to keep quads. So I'm going to do a couple of cuts. One, I do a cut from the center here out to the corner. So that is now four. See that? That's a quad and a quad. One, two, three, four. Yes. And I'll do the same for this side. A cut. A cut. Enter. I'll do the same down here. <coughs> um, what's a quad? That's a quad. One, two, three, four. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I'll do a cut from here straight down the middle. Like that. All right, and this one I'll actually delete that. <coughs> That's now a four. Pick it up like that. They're all fours. Okay, this one here. Oh, I actually jump there, so I'll just use my target weld. Better weld those. And these whoops. These are also quads. And now I move these right out. Pull them right out. Okay, it's about opening them up. This is going to be the palm. Okay. Good. Now you have a bit more geometry to work with, so as you can um, actually start to shape, shape the palm, etc. Bring those right down, right open, open them up. I try and avoid too much stretching, as you can see here. So I would actually be grabbing this edge here, moving it right up. OK. 
okay you don't want to stretch too far okay so that's about it really um, and then it's about of course shaping them moving them out um, you know obviously these are not the correct shape but you know spend a bit of time add a few edge loops through here for your knuckles etc okay same as for the thumb but that in a nutshell allows you to create that looping all right um yeah so hope that helps and there you go